traffic and parking. It could be a yeah. huge concern if you're headed to one of Atlanta's biggest weekend events. The Dogwood Festival is one of the city's largest and oldest festivals. It just wrapped up for the night, but it's still got two days left. Atlanta News First Carly Barnett is live tonight outside Piedmont Park. And Carly, parking will be the biggest issue for people getting there, right? Blair, Sean, definitely a good idea to go ahead and make a plan. Organizers say MARTA is probably going to be your best bet in getting here. You can take MARTA to the Art Center or you can go to 10th Street in Midtown. Both of those locations will get you pretty close. There are also parking lots available. We parked in a parking garage earlier, but for a cost at about $35. And we have a whole list of all of those resources you can find on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. No matter what, you probably do need to be prepared to walk a little bit. And we caught up with some folks who were out here for day one today. I'm here for the festivities, the beautiful the music. artwork, the music. Joy Loman and Jerry Turner, among the many out and about enjoying Piedmont Park Friday, excited about the annual Dogwood Festival. It's Atlanta's largest and longest running fine arts festival. It's also the third oldest in the country. And the weather could not be more perfect this weekend, so we just wanted to be out. And that's good news for vendors. It was a bit windy this morning, so that was a little scary and we've seen some booths fly over but moving forward hopefully good weather lots of sales mm -hmm. lots of interesting interactions with amazing people lotus billand and her family own little river woodworks and the dogwood festival has been a stop for many years i love atlanta so it is it is somewhere that i do enjoy coming and then there are park goers like Caroline Boyden visiting from London who said it was a pleasant surprise. No, I got lucky. Yeah, I did not know this was happening. <laughs> the festival itself is free, but they welcome donations. And remember, dogwoods refer to the blooming trees native to our state, not our four-legged friends who have to stay home. Executive Director Brian Hill says events include the Mimosa 5K Saturday morning and a Jimmy Buffett tribute band with fireworks that night. We've got all of the great entertainment booked throughout the weekend, and it's going to be sunny and it's going to be warm and it's going to be the only place to be in Atlanta. I know some people go into that little town where they're playing golf somewhere, but we don't really think a lot about that. Well, not to mention we have the Masters on Atlanta News First, so you can enjoy the best of both worlds with the best seat in the house. Come and take a look at your screen. If you are planning on coming out this weekend, it runs from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. tomorrow and then 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Organizers say they guess there are going to be about 200,000 people out here this weekend. Live tonight outside Piedmont Park, Carly Barnett, Atlanta News First. Well, the weather this weekend.